Hello, I'm Matt from Mantic. And I am Rich from Goblin Gaming. And we are playing some Kings of War. We are, we're playing a full campaign of Kings of War. Uh, with two armies that are actually new to us, we haven't played with. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be starting off relatively small, as you would, if mm -hmm. you were trying out a new army. And slowly building that up over time. And, you know, throwing some Kings of War Vanguard games in as well. Yeah, see how it all builds together and just sort of starting where, where you would. So you get to see us build up our army, yeah. how we, if we, like, what we choose, because there's lots of different options even with the the starter sets and, oh, yeah, and yeah. whatnot. You're not railroaded into any particular way of building mm. your units even when you get the starter set. So yeah. we have chosen to play as the Night Stalkers and the Northern Alliance, uh, which can conveniently be gotten from the Shadows in the North starter box. Oh, like so. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's where we'll, we'll be starting our armies, using just the selection from in there. And uh, as we progress through the games, we get like the, the normal army box, maybe the mega yeah. army box, and kind of flesh out based on our preferred play style. Um, as well as having a look at the Vanguard boxes, because yeah. obviously I want to be pewing ice bolts around and <laughs> breathing ice everywhere, which means I need an ice queen. Um, You're gonna have the the swish. Yeah, we're calling it that from now on. <laughs> the swish. <laughs> so Cause, yeah, uh, yeah, because um, Vanguard and Kings of War, you can you can play together as a campaign, and so they unlock stuff for each other. And, and it's... yeah, I'm, I'm really looking for, like so the giant unit from yeah. Kings of War. I'm really looking forward to playing this, and we have to work out how it's going to play into a Vanguard campaign. Um, but you can well, capture the giant, the <laughs> and then the winner of the capture the giant Vanguard game in the next Kings of War game gets a free giant. Has a free giant, yeah, free so. Titan, which will be terrifying. So that'll be brilliant. I need to win that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but so yeah, we've uh, we've we've got everything from from the box. We yeah. built it how we wanted to for this. Yeah, uh, and I guess we'll have a chat about that in a second. Yes. So I am playing as the Night Stalkers. Coming from the dwarfs, lifelong dwarf player. Um, so I've decided to go for a mix because it's the first game. I figured I I want to try a bit of everything, mm. see what works, and then I can kind of build upon Just that. Kind of throw it at the wall, see what sticks. Yeah, uh, and so with the specters and the scarecrows, you get to build them either way. So I've gone for two troops of specters, um, so I can place them either side, sort yeah. of catch anyone that's that's uh, that's out of position. Is it like your range fireball? Yeah. Running? Yeah, they shoot yeah. they shoot quite far. Um, quite fast moving too, right? Yeah. Um, and the good thing is they've got sort of a with like all the night stalkers a bit of an innate defense uh, against other rangers that might want to take them out because they have stealthy. They do. Um, and so I can pluck away and if anyone wants to come to me then well hopefully there's no melee units that are free to come to me. Yeah. Um, but they, they can just whittle you down and enough that if you do get into combat with some of my more specialized units, fingers crossed that there's enough uh, there's enough damage on you. Yeah. And uh, that's so that said, you've got two ranged units. Yeah. You've got two melee units there mm -hmm. and your hero. So, you know, they're not necessarily going to be getting up in my grill. Yeah. Because mine, mine's quite contrasting to yours. Mm. So what, what what's the uh, the scarecrows? The so yeah, the um, the scarecrows. I'm. I'm a little bit worried about these guys because mm -hmm. they're quite weak. Yeah. And so what I've done is I've given them a magical artifact, uh, the Hammer of Measured Force, and uh, that means they will uh, they'll always damage an enemy on a four plus. So I'm I'm just trying to make sure that if I do get some wounds in, yeah, then I can actually I can actually damage you. you can actually hurt. Um, yeah. They're kind of I'm going to be trying to use them more as just some way to make you stick, get get you in a position that right. I want, yeah. uh, and then my butchers which i'm really excited for um <laughs> my, my big boys are gonna be sort of the main main guys yeah they're, they're the ones that i really don't want to waste by throwing at something uh like your snow foxes and uh i want to keep them locked in do some damage and then have them move on to the right. next thing okay and your hero spellcaster yep yeah, so the so last one is the horror and he has an absolute spell book basically he can, <laughs> he can choose the from lightning bolt uh, Mind Fog, Bane Chant. What I've done is, and this is because I've come from Dwarfs and Stone yeah. Priest, is he has Bane Chant. Yes, he does. And I love Bane Chant. I love giving stuff that already has crushing strength mm. more crushing strength. And so um, he's going to be sat behind the Scarecrows and Butchers, hopefully, mm -hmm. just sort of patting them on the back, saying, You're doing good, mate. Here's, a, here's <laughs> yeah, some crushing strength. Fine, fine. And I've also given him, he has the option to have an aura of Vicious, so I get to re-roll my natural ones. Mm -hmm. And so, 
He's just going to be... As an aura. Yeah. To affect other people. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like with, with a force this small, uh, it's going to be useful even with... Because the aura isn't that big. I don't plan on him getting in a combat. Yeah. If he does, then I feel like the game's already over at that point. Never gets into combat. <laughs> yeah. So no one loses hero. Because I took off Lightning Bolt, because Bane Chant is free if you take off Lightning Bolt on him. So, right, okay. Whew, hopefully. So but yeah, so that's my force. Then. Nice and balanced, yeah. hopefully, and it lets me move forward in the campaign and see what I really So like. harder to hit, but then I counter that with ice tipped arrows. If yeah. I do get a hit in, well, I don't counter it, but yeah. I'll slow you down if I get a hit in. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with my hero. The oh, Shadows yes. of the North box gives you the Icekin Master Hunter, um, who's basically the Icekin Hunter sculpt, isn't yeah. it? Um, which I, re I think that's a really, really neat little sculpt. Um, I love the cloak just, on the back. Yeah, the flowing sort of feathered <laughs> or... Animal skin cloak. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Animal skin cloak. Um, I'm going to have to make slightly like, larger sizes. I've seen that big 3D print out there of one of them. Mar 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 just play with Martin's it. size. <laughs> <laughs> like a chess piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got the Master Hunter. So mm -hmm. she is going to be mainly focused on trying to tie you guys up. She's not going to be a big damage dealer, but yeah. ice tipped arrows. Um, quite a few actual hits. She only needs to land one hit on yeah. you. She's not there to deal damage. She just gets one hit. Mm -hmm. And that will basically stop you advancing because it stops you getting your... It's so more of an offensive in. supporter. Well, mine's quite defensive yeah. supporting. She's also got a 24-inch range, which is far farther than yours. It is massive. So played right, <laughs> I can just keep shooting you and moving backwards. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't get any penalty to my shots being yeah. an individual. So my, my way of countering your <laughs> lots of ranged is to be a bit more nimble and a bit more clever. Um, next up, obviously, you get 40 clansmen in that box, uh, or sprues with the clansmen on, mm -hmm. which can be built as the pack hunters or the clansmen. I have just gone for a core of clansmen for this. Yeah. Um, and, and that's just to kind of get my points value up there, because we're, we're sitting at, what, 500, 600 points? Yeah, 500 points. 500 points. points. Um, and one thing I wanted to do, which not a lot of people do realise, is on the clansman sprues you get snow foxes. Oh, these snow foxes. Snow foxes. <laughs> 80 points just for a little regiment of snow foxes. Very fast moving, very nimble. Mm -hmm. um, again, falls into the sort of working with my ice skin master hunter yeah. plan of tying you up and keeping you out of the way. While well, my snow trolls do a lot of the heavy lifting. I've heard a lot about the snow trolls, and I'm yeah. I'm very worried. <laughs> yeah. So you get three snow trolls in the box as well. Uh, minimum model count for me, so I put just two onto the, the table. Yeah. Because uh, it's easier for me yeah. to get, get the models painted up. <laughs> so I've got a much smaller force. Um, we are playing on a small table because yeah. the points value is quite low, mm -hmm. um, which means you know. Coverage is slightly easier. You've got one yeah. unit more than me. Mm -hmm. um, when, when we're going to see if that matters. The good thing about yeah. so we do recommend if you're doing a thousand points, you can play on a smaller board. Yeah. It just means that you get into the action a bit more. Yeah. It's, like, it's if it was easier. a bigger board, I wouldn't be using a force like this because I've got no table table control. Yeah. I mean, my force is now relying on slowing you down in places. Oh yeah. Whilst making you prioritize an area of the board. Yeah. Um, I mean, personally, yeah. I, I find I find the objective ones a bit more a bit more fun because it's yeah. more about maneuvering. I think you're like me. You try not to devolve into a straight up kill, regardless yeah. of what. And you're then playing. I start seeing red, and then it, all <laughs> tactics go out the window. <laughs> you just charged off of that objective yeah. to come to kill my snow foxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I see them snow foxes out of position, I'm going to have them. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of crushing strength, I've had about 35 points left to play with mm. because of my use of the snow foxes instead of another group of clansmen. Yep. I have given this unit, crushing strength plus one, to my clansmen, who, Ooh. as you probably know, already have crushing strength. <laughs> now, I chose to give it to those because they get the most attacks. Yeah. So more attacks, more crushing it's strength. It's going to be worrying. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I've got a blade of slashing on my snow trolls, so when they roll to hit in melee, it can re-roll one of the dice that failed to hit. Okay. They don't get a lot of attacks, Yeah. so I want to make so sure they make them count. get a, an attack chance that rerolls. So it's not rerolling an actual one, yeah. it's just if it fails to hit. Oh, okay. Um, so I get that extra chance there. So yeah. extra damage because there's a lot more going out. Makes sense. Helping them hit because they're a bit more cack handed, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> uh, and hopefully they'll never be hitting you from the front either. That's, that's the point. <laughs> well, 
I'm going to give an out of it. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's how we've built them. There yeah. are, especially the, with the way I've built mine, there's so many other options. Yeah. So I can have a very ranged heavy, especially with games below a thousand points, right? Yeah. Um, where they say, you know, the, the buying in mm. your other units rule, just kind of disregard it and yeah. play with what you like from the box. And um, good thing, because uh, cause these are built as troops for me, my spectres, you, I could, I was thinking about putting them together to make a regiment, and I was like, oh. Now you got them on a separate basis. I've had, I've had a lot of, uh, a lot of moments where I've had uh, a ranged unit, more, more like a war machine, and it's just been sat there the whole game. Yeah. Hasn't been able to do anything. So at least with two, if one's kind of out of position for a turn, at yeah. least the other one might be able to get some. I mean, you've got to think of that as control of the board too, because you have yeah. this. If, if you've got any the coin, you've got this arc of influence, if mm. you like, that they can kind of put pressure on from. Yeah. With me having just one ranged, I've got to get up to yeah. you know doing damage. <laughs> Um, until we start to bring in more units from the other boxes, yeah, or we start to lift the points value up, so I can start throwing in the pack hunters, yeah, um, because I've got another twenty units that I haven't got <laughs> on the table from this box, um, so another either two troops or another regiment if yeah. I wanted um, to to go in. Whereas I believe you've used all of them, haven't you, for yours? Uh, yes. So. so yeah, I've I've used everything uh, here. Um, Obviously, you could build Spectres and Scarecrows if you wanted pure melee. Yeah. Uh, but I, f I feel like, especially with the way I'm using my my uh, hero, I really need some range. So yeah. I'm excited to see how it goes. Because uh, yeah. you can talk all all day about the planning and why you've done <laughs> stuff. But if I get absolutely wiped, then uh, it, it means nothing. The best laid plans. Yeah. Say. <laughs> well, I think we should now go lay out our plans. Yes. <laughs> right, so we are playing Control. Mm -hmm. I lied. So I'm invading your space, coming <laughs> after your nuts. <laughs> You're in my personal area. This is yeah, this is where we've squirreled away our nuts for the for ever the ever long winter. That, and that as everyone been. knows, butchers are partial to a nice cashew. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken cashew nut. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, I won the uh, roll off to start and uh, because we're playing on a small table, uh, we're gonna we're gonna set it within six inches from the edge of the board. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with my spectre. My, my. My lovely boys. There we go. Now, I've done the thing of just, I put my units on the table in front of me while we're setting up. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's exactly where I want them to be. <laughs> As it happens, I am going to start my clans when they're a little bit off camera <laughs> just here in the right corner. So they're actually opposite your uh, spectres. Oh, so okay. Opposite corners. They're hiding already. Oof, well, they've got a relatively nice channel to move down. There's a lot of options here. <laughs> they're not quite as nimble as my foxes, so they mm. kind of need this more open path. And uh, I'm going to put my spectres the other side. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pop my master hunter now. Pretty much dead opposite your first deployment into this far corner here. Okay. So. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, butcher's dead center. Okay. Um, snow foxes. Bit more nimble, so they're going to go alongside my master hunter. Okay. On that far side there. I'll, uh, I'm going to go. Hmm. They're actually going to go there. Okay. In which case, snow trolls are also going to go just behind my snow foxes. Okay. Not alongside. Not alongside. I have, I have run out of place. Wow. No, they will. <laughs> I, I was running out of places to spa uh, space them out. <laughs> and last but not least, my horror is just going to sit behind the butchers and um, be as protected as possible. With their pack lunch. So interesting spread across there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so my ice King master hunter has scout, which means she gets to make a uh, single at the double advance order Ooh. after setup. Um, oh my. Yeah. So. You don't have anything else for that. Could I borrow your tape measure, please? Of course you can, sir. So her move. There's one behind you if you really want. Is there really? Yeah, there's two. Oh, yeah. Here at Mantic Games, we're always supplied with your gaming supplies. <laughs> the Mantic Games tape measure. Shit. It covers three meters of board. <laughs> well, not the whole board. There's three, a three meter strip that's about a centimeter wide. <laughs> um, right, so I digress. The Master Hunter, her move uh, is seven. So her speed is seven, so she can move 14, yeah? So she's going to do her at the double of 14, and it's going to take her all the way to here. Pretty much all the way. Yeah. Yeah! 
but not quite within range of your troops. Okay. With her 24 inch range. Oh, no. <laughs> or is she? It's probably. <laughs> it's, it's a four by four board, so yes. Probably. 24 should be what, half of it. <laughs> right. You're about to move into the board. Um, so. I'm gonna do uh, at the double with my butchers, so movement phase. Yes, we are starting the first round now. That was yeah. outside of the first round. Yeah. So I'm gonna move forward with my good old butchers. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna move, so my spectres off the top of my head. He says looking at the book. Definitely <laughs> not off the top of my head. Uh, they're gonna also, no, they're going to move the normal distance, and then I'm going to pivot. Yep. Um, same with these guys. They're going to move forward, and then go there. And my scarecrows, I'm going to move them. they got to imagine they're right. Yeah, see, so scarecrows are speed of four, which is... Very, very slow. Yeah, but luckily they have that wild charge if I do need them to start scrambling. Mm -hmm. But they're just going to move into the woods uh, and just make it easier. So I'm going to remove the tree, just so you can see that. If you go down to the woods today... You're um, going to be in for a surprise. If you go down to the woods today, <laughs> scarecrows will eat your eyes. I'd, I'd rather see a massive bear than a scarecrow in the middle of the wood. Uh, like Blair Witch. <laughs> I, I reckon that, I don't know, I could take one, they're actually quite hard. <laughs> I, the only bear that, like if you see any other bear apart from a black bear. Or Paddington bear. Or Pad, I don't know, I reckon Paddington would have me in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the Pooh? Um, He's a bear. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't fight Winnie the Pooh though. He's too adorable. I move my horror. <laughs> <laughs> horror and we're going to move just behind him. Yeah. Uh, range phase. So I don't think my spectres are in range of anything. No. They definitely don't have line of sight anyway on your hero. Oh, that's this, this massive uh, iceberg uh, blocks it. The corner of them can see her, but I don't think it's nah. measuring from any point in the base. It's the sort of leader point, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so what I am going to do is use uh, Bane Chant on mm. my horror. So 12 inches, it can be used on friendlies, obviously. I don't yeah. know why I'd use it on an enemy. Um, so talk us through what Bane Chant does. So Bane Chant. So, if one or more hits are scored for the rest of the turn, the unit you use that on gains crushing strength plus one, um, and the effect only applies once, so I can't just juice up a butcher to... Is that forever? Uh, no, it's just for the round. Okay. Um, yeah, for the rest of the turn, the unit gains it, so... But they're, they're not going to hit anybody yet, so... No, but I just want to, you know, just want to show you. <laughs> just when they come over. They're just going to sort of flex at me? Yeah. They were like... How you doing? <laughs> Front double bicep. Yeah. Well, it's a quad bicep for them, isn't it? Or is it? No, they've got three arms. <laughs> tricep. No, that's already a muscle. Front, triple, bicep pose. You're asking the wrong guy. I only do deadlifts. <laughs> uh, so Bane Chant 2, so I'm going to roll two dice. And he does indeed have Bane. He has a Christian strength plus one. Ooh. So he is completely juiced. And he's just going to stand there. <laughs> just, he is just flexing up, and that's the uh, that's the end of mine. Obviously, I can't melee anything. Um, nothing's in range for shooting. What's your range for shooting with the uh, spectres? Uh, it's none of your business. No, I'm kidding. Eighteen, isn't it? It's uh, yeah, eighteen inches. How far is that? So if she was uh, a bit more visible, you would actually be able to hit her. It's all in good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So now I move all of my stuff. So. The Icekin Master Hunter is in fact going to move away from that 18 inch mark <laughs> that you're on. So she's only going to come back just to about there because she's still uh, yeah. going to pop about there. She's still able to see them all now. Right, that's her move. Then my Snow Foxes, they have a speed of 8. They are nimble and they have Pathfinder, which basically means they can pivot between the, yeah. the moves, right? So I can do essentially a 16 inch and pivot them at 8 inches in. Because of the nimble? Uh, right? I'd have to look. None of my guys have nimble. 
Single extra pivot of up to 90 degrees around its center while executing any movement order, including a charge. It can't make this one order to halt when this one. So, yeah, I'm guessing I can make an extra pivot. Yep. That's what allows you to kind of zigzag around. <laughs> and they are foxes. Plus, I can pass straight through this with no penalty, I believe. If you have... Um, Pathfinder. If you have Pathfinder, yeah. And I do. <laughs> but the question is... Which way do they want to go? They're going to pivot. And they're just going to pass straight through here. Soop. To the end of their movement, and they're going to end up here. Next up, you can pivot at the start of any movement with uh, an infantry as well, can you not? Yeah. So human clansmen, they can only move 10 if they go at the double. Um, they're going to make a very slight pivot, just so they can head 10 to here which should keep them just shy of your range. So I'm going to stop them a little bit short okay. of that movement. Um, stopping short in this game seems to be quite a good thing to do. Mm. <laughs> and it stops you getting into position and then being charged. And my snow trolls, who are occupying the left side of the board, they are quite slow as well. Oh, they're six. They're actually a bit quicker than them. Yeah. They've got longer legs. Got, yeah, they've got bigger, bigger legs than yeah. At least my scarecrow. So <laughs> another double of 12 for them is going to take them quite well. Just in line with her, just behind, but also out of range of your dudes. That's all of my stuff move because I have less stuff. Yeah. So any range? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> so she has a 24 inch range. Mm-hmm. I can't shoot through your units, can I? No. Unfortunately, otherwise I'd be pew 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 <laughs> ice bolting so, uh, at your, uh, your dude. Um, which means... And the butchers I, are bigger anyway. They so. are big tall boys. <laughs> um, I am going to take some shots at your spectre. Okay. Just, just with my master hunter. <laughs> She is a master of the hunt. So just um, to remind, uh, they have stealthy. So enemy units yeah. making ranged attacks against this suffer an um, additional minus one to hit. Yeah. So that's she kind of my perk. Yeah, so they're quite hard to hit. She's only got three dice, but all of your units have stealthy. Yes. Including the butchers. They are, they're stealthy. It's yeah. more that when you see them, you, you're just oh, shaking and you can't, you can't keep your arms straight. <laughs> So much for a master of hunting. <laughs> um, so Used she gets to... yeah, three hours. Hers are ice tipped arrows. So if one or more points of damage are caused, then they get the frozen special rule, which we'll come to if we manage yeah. to hit it. Um, and the tracker rule doesn't really mean anything for me right now. Yeah. So I'm rolling um, range from a three plus. So it's four plus now, isn't it? Because yeah. of your special rule. So I'm going to use my cup. Oh, the, the dreadful cup. <laughs> four, five and a four. So two hits. Two hits, okay. And they're on a defense of three. So we get three above? Yep. Come on, Dreadball. You not got piercing? Uh, no, oh, actually, yes, I do. Piercing one. Then two. So two plus. Yeah. Two points of damage, hopefully. Three and a one. So one point of damage. One point of damage. But they're still frozen. Yeah. So the frozen special rule means that you have minus one speed until the end of your next turn. You yep. can't have its speed produce more than minus one. Um, that's basically it. Do you have the frozen special rule? Okay. And you've got no other ranged units? Mm, no. So, so we'll so. test my nerve. Because at the end of the shooting phase, yep. uh, you do it after every single melee encounter is when you do yep. it. But we'll get to that. Having one. two arrows thwack into you is enough yep. to make you nervous. So two dice. Come on, boys. All right, six, seven, eight. Fine. <laughs> They're absolutely fine. What's their nerve? It's quite I'm low, isn't it? I'm telling you. I don't want you worrying about that. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, we're into round two. Yeah. Ding ding ding. Round ding, two. ding ding ding. Um, I'll let you do the honors of changing the thing. That was okay. So I am going to just pivot. Well, move and pivot because. There we go. These are going to move uh, six and pivot. Oh. Or two. <laughs> Just trashing the entire table. Scarecrow's did a backflip. <laughs> that is 
testament to uh, the super glue. I'm happy with that. Um, Scarecrow's going to move through the uh, the terrain. So difficult. That's fine. I'm just going to move through it. Not full amount, just the full. They're gonna, they're gonna peek their little heads up. Well, hello. They're just sitting in the woods. Yeah, they're just chilling, having a picnic. <laughs> Found a couple of, <laughs> of uh, nuts you left behind. <laughs> Some uh, cashews are in there, yeah. scattered around the trees. The butchers. Ooh. Ooh. The butchers are gonna, are gonna hold. Look how close we're getting. No. It's just teased. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be Mahara just behind them. Okay. Um, no, I've already, I've already kept them. I'm going to move that around because I've got Mind you what card they memory like a sieve. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to be fine like that. You are? Yeah. You want to take any shots now? Well, I'm going to definitely take some shots. So 100% in range. Yeah. And... Range. So we're gonna shoot at your uh, what are they, clansman. Yep. Cool. So Spectre Troop has eight attacks. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, and under twice. French with Matthew. I didn't even pick up the French dice. <laughs> there we go. You so can't count in one language and in your head yeah. at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I can't do many things at the same time. So I am uh, hitting on a five plus. Mm -hmm. um, so that is three. Not bad. Three hits. Three hits. Uh, I've got a defense of five plus as well. So I've got Quite piercing, tough. so four. Four plus. And that is, I've got two sixes, so two, two wounds. Two wounds on them. Uh, which means, what's their... Uh... Oh, you'd have to do nerve yet, because it's the range oh, phase. Yeah. I'm just getting ready. Oh, don't you worry. And then uh, we're going to shoot your trolls. Who are just having a lovely date over the other side there? Yeah, they're holding they're, hands, skipping through the woods. They are they're like, where did we bury those nuts again? <laughs> <laughs> and that is one, two, three, four. Snow trolls, yeah. Yep. Uh, five plus for them. So two, nice four plus. Four. And that is three wounds. They're tough. They're tough. They get regeneration too. So that's fine. So nice little spread out, and um, I'm just gonna do uh, yeah, Bane Chant for a laugh. Uh, yeah, he yeah, has crushing strength. Still crushing. He's just flexing. So still flexing. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now the nerve for so you. So nerve is two dice, isn't it? Yep. So I'll do my snow trolls first. Okay. Uh, they are 12 slash 15, so it's gonna be under 15? Uh, or is it under yeah. 12? Yeah, under 15. Well, uh, if it's 12, you'll be, you'll be wavering. Yeah. So. Uh, and that's while under 15, four and a three. Then, what is it, my clansmen, who I think are the same, 13, 15, so the same. And Three, five, five, six, seven. Not even first. No. They're all right. No, not even first. <laughs> those, those shots hit somebody they didn't. They didn't even <laughs> want to be there. They didn't like them. <laughs> and that is all me done for mine. There we go. I'm not going to turn the tank No. Up. Now, this is where it gets a bit more interesting. So... What are you thinking? I'm thinking of <laughs> corkscrewing onto your leader's head with my snow foxes. <laughs> I don't think even you have enough pivots pivot for that. Charge. <laughs> pivot, charge, pivot. Isn't it with them? I get the extra pivot, don't I? So it would have to be. It would. I don't think I could do it. You 100% couldn't looking at it. Yeah. Can they not pivot before they move? Uh, you've already got the uh, the pivot, so you'd, yeah. you'd you'd be pivoting once to go forward, and then pivoting again, and then you'd be done. Yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah, they wouldn't make it back onto you. Yeah. But if you want to come close to my butchers, I'm absolutely fine with that. Well, <laughs> who says I want to go to the butchers when they can go all the way over here? Well, you know what? That's also yeah. fine. Yeah. There's a lot of fine. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if we can make this happen. I can't quite reach. Basically, as long as they get like into the contact of your base, it then shuffles in, doesn't it? Yeah. So, would you say they're going to contact the wrong person if I do that? Uh, yeah, you can't move through enemies. Yeah. How close have I got to get for it to be successful? Within a distance or just um, actually touching? Touching, uh, like, 
But obviously, we, we have there's a bit of a grace because then we don't want people breaking them in. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that they might not actually make this. Um, if I pivot to, yeah, I don't think they'll actually make contact, will they? It looks like it's just out. Yeah. For, for a, a full, oh. Also, you you definitely hit the scarecrows first. Yeah. Unless it was. Yeah, unless you. Eight to there. Yeah. Pivot and then. Eight. Well, I'll get you know what I'll get as close as I can. Okay. <laughs> Who cares? So we're gonna basically pivot and move the eight to okay. here, and then it'll have to be the second pivot, and then it's gonna end up right in front of you. Okay. So make you take some action to there. So I haven't actually successfully charged you, which means you can charge me. Yeah. But you are not really very melee savvy. No. With those guys. Okay, that's them moved. Snow Trolls. They've only got a speed of 6, but they can move up to 12. Which means they can get closer to you while you continue to throw stuff <laughs> at them. Uh, and they can pivot at the end of their move, can't they? Uh, yeah. yeah. So, these guys... They're going to get right up in your grill. Because I think they can survive another wave. Okay. And face that way. My master hunter. Hmm. So you're coming all the way on that side. I am. Which is worrying. You can only shoot stuff that's in front of you though, right? Uh, as opposed to behind me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Does that count as being behind you? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> not as adjacent to you. But now you have to make the choice. <laughs> I wonder what I'm going to pick. <laughs> Snow Trolls or her. Yeah. It's not as tough. But then you will get mashed. Um, and now my clansmen, they can move a, ten, a nice 10. I assume you can shoot over the top of a snow fox. Yeah. Because um, they're not all that tall. Counts as cover there. Yeah? Yep. Well, they're going to, uh, they're just going to sit there stalemating you, um, I think, because I don't want to charge into difficult terrain and you're outside of that extra charge. Um, I could just <laughs> <laughs> put some real pressure on you. Uh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to bait you out a bit. We're, we're going to bait you out. Yeah, we are. Okay. Can they, like, eat some food, recover some health while they do that? Uh, they, they're, they're just going to have a picnic. Um, it sadly doesn't cover any health. I need to do my regeneration roll for my trolls as well. Okay. Because they've moved. Uh, and the regeneration rule is every time the unit receives a movement order, before doing anything else, I should have done this before, roll a number of dice equal to the amount of damage currently on the unit, and their regeneration, for every result of N or higher, the unit recovers one point of damage. I think their regeneration is quite high. Um, five plus. So if I get any five pluses, They'll recover those wounds. Okay. Uh, I've got a six and a one and a four. So, unfortunately, I can't add them together. <laughs> so, they've just recovered one wound. That's fine. So, here we go. I'm making you make some tough decisions. I'm playing quite aggressively in order to clear these points. Okay. Um, I can't shoot because she didn't have the double. Yep. Unfortunately, I can't throw a rock <laughs> with my uh, snow trolls. Um, let me just double check. Oh, they did have wild charge. I could have added one inch to that, but I wouldn't have got into contact with you. Okay. No. Cool. Right. I so next round. Yes. So it's now your round. Okay, round three. Hmm. So, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna leave. Spectre's there. What I'm going to do is, that's a group pivot. Charge into the side of your snow foxes. I'm then going to move my butchers forward onto the objective. Face. I'm going to pivot like that. Horror. I was going to chill. 
They're gonna chill. They can do as, as much as I can. <laughs> okay, range phase. Bane Chan on the uh, Scarecrows. Ooh. Uh, yep, yeah, I got crushing strength. Gonna crush a load of puppies. Yes. Sick. <laughs> Sick man. You heard it here first. <laughs> no regrets. Uh, and now my specters, uh, they can't shoot you because mm -hmm. uh, you're in combat. Um, so they're going to shoot the snow trolls. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is ooh, uh, only two. Oh, and a five plus to hit them. Yeah. To, to damage them. Is that with uh, piercing? Uh, so oh, four. four plus, yeah. There we go. One, one extra one. wound on it. Back on the three. I think these guys are trembling a little bit. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they've kind of they're, they're, they've served their purpose. <laughs> so end of the range phase. We're gonna do the nerve on those. Yep. So because I could get rid of them. Uh, and so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. They've got a bit more nerve than that. They yeah. are trolls. Let's try 15. <laughs> okay, so my scarecrows are on your side flank, so they get double the attacks. Yep. So they're on 30. I've so only got three six for five. dogs. I know. They're going to get massacred, but hey. Three for five. Three for five. Five, ten, fifteen. Three, four, five. And four, five. Oh yes. So five, five, five. I'm gonna do fifteen and then fifteen, just to make it easier on myself. Okay. Okay. You can so probably resolve the first fifteen and, and be where you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> so they're. I mean, they're they're only hitting on uh, five pluses, so it's okay. absolutely fine. Okay. So one, two, three. Four. It's not, really it's not. You roll them and then another four. <laughs> okay. I see some sixes there. One, two. Not a lot. <laughs> not <laughs> that a was lot. the only ones I could see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've got piercing and stuff. No, you don't. You've got crushing strength, though. Yeah. Um, so I'm eating these. Two, two plus? They're dogs. Just two. They're puppers. Yeah. Two plus. Yeah, that's all of them. <laughs> so how, how many is that? Six. So six. Yeah, well, they could still survive that. So if you want to do your nerve, because it's after every engagement. Yeah, they're very... Oh, that's going to be tough. <laughs> they've got a nerve of 11. No. Ooh. Splat. Oh, so that was a six and a five. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so... Couldn't have had a much worse roll. So are they, they're wiped they're out. They're scattered. They Dead. have scattered from the battlefield. Okay. So they I'll let you... Yep. Do yours, and then uh, they're just gonna pivot. Okay, so they so are now facing the correct way now. Ready for you, um, and uh, yeah, that's that's me. That's you, right? Movement. First blood. It is. I'll take that. There's gonna be a <laughs> lot more now, though. There's gonna be a lot on these yeah. spectres. <laughs> so I don't think I need to really measure. I'm gonna slide these guys up. Yeah. To get in you know grill. what? I think you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah go up in your grill. Uh, that's going to happen. Then she is going to pivot as a unit. And she's going to come to here, so she's in cover, but can see you. So she's in cover here. Um, yep. But importantly, can see your leader. Yes. And uh, now the choice that I have to make. These guys don't have their crushing strength anymore, do they? Um, technically we're in the same round, but you've crushing strength doesn't matter because I've already melee. That's true, you don't get to hit me back. No. Um, There's no countering. No. You've got a very important decision to make here, Chief. I do. <laughs> I would think they'd get, they'd have to charge through here, but... you got a big old base size. They do, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, decisions. <laughs> were you hoping what? the snow foxes were going to last? I was hoping away? the snow foxes would tie you up for that bit longer, yeah. and I could get into a side flank of these guys. So <laughs> it's going to have to be. You know what? It's going to be an all or nothing. They're going to charge your your butchers because okay. they're within the eleven of the wild charge. 
even with the pivot in and then closing up on here. Yep. Yep. These are the guys I want to tie up. Actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to shoot them in the back, would I, from then? No, the butchers would come up. Yeah, the butchers would march through me. So that's that. That's all of my movement done. Um, we resolve mm. shoots now? Yep. Pew pews? Okay, pew so pews. Master Hunter shooting your leader dude. All right. Um, she is three dice, I seem to remember. And she hits on a four plus because of your stealthiness. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they all miss. Oh no! All three, three threes. <laughs> that was the most genuine hour now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to melee. Okay. <laughs> well, this should be more successful than these guys. Cause... So these guys are <laughs> hitting in the front. Um, it's always the way. If one roll goes differently, the whole game could change. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they get nine attacks. One, two, three. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what are they hitting on? They are hitting on uh, far. Oh, that's the wrong characters. <laughs> four plus. Um, oh, we can go back to the other character. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'd rather not. Four plus. Uh, they do have the roll to hit re-roll uh, on one of the failed dice because they've got the blade of slashing. Yeah. Somehow it's embedded. Oh no, I forgot my aura. <laughs> I always forget it. <laughs> He's got the blade embedded in his club somewhere. Yep. So I'm looking for uh, four pluses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot. And I'll re-roll this two. That's missed. a big one. <laughs> it's a two again. So, four plus, four plus, four plus. That's a four plus. Those are four pluses. That's a four plus. You get a four plus. Yeah, well, you get a four plus. <laughs> um, and now what? I'm rolling to damage you? Uh, yeah. And what's your defense? Like one? Uh, t so, I guess you've got cr crushing strength. So, I two do, plus. I do have crushing strength. Yeah, two plus then. Um... I've got crushing strength. Oh no, wrong character again. I'm on three defense, yeah. so any amount of crushing strength is a two plus. It's crushing strength two. Yeah, so two plus. Yeah. And vicious for melee. What did that one do? Roll to damage. Reroll all dice. Natural one, modified one. So I want like sixes or ones. Uh, oh, there's a one. Two ones. I get two rerolls. Uh, that one's an outright miss. Uh, oh, was it two plus? Two plus, yeah. Oh, no, so none of them missed, except the ones I get to reroll. <laughs> nice. So. Yeah. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven hits. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I'm on a, I'm on a nice eight. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. This is okay. We can this is fine. This. Uh, so, I'm going to roll my nerve. Hmm. Uh, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> twelve. So fourteen. Yeah, so they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what, Rich? I'm just happy you killed something. <laughs> I'm really proud. <laughs> um, do they get to change facing now following that? Uh, yeah, so you can change facing or move one D6 it's in a direction. Un in any Choice. direction. Uh, well, they're facing forward. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> it's only a 90 degree turn though, right? Yep. So 90 degree would have them facing this way, which is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. They're going to pivot themselves round sideways on. So they're going to have to make another pivot to move next turn, but never mind. Mm -hmm. um, now we will resolve the menagerie going on by the forest. Yeah. So it is 12 attacks. Now they have crushing strength two. Four, four five, six. Don't get a hold of you. Uh, crushing, we ain't talking about crushing strength right now. You gotta hit me first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, true. Um, that's all there really. Anything to worry about is just twelve attacks um, on a four plus. Okay. That one do we to reroll that? Yeah, one? go on. <laughs> I can do. It was a three only, so uh, well, I'll just reroll it here. It's still a three. Nah. <laughs> uh, those are misses, those are misses. Hope that comebacks is calm. Uh, those two miss. This is true. So four. Four hits. Okay, good amount. Um, so damaging on... So you got Christian Strong for what? One? Two. Two, so you're hitting yeah, on three, three pluses. Three hits. Three hits. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. We didn't really want any, did you? Yeah, not really. <laughs> okay, so I'll do my nerve. 
Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now they're fine. Could have been a th five and a six would have been nice for you that time. They're uh, absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> no other melee for no you. Other melee, no. So next next round. It is. Okay, so we currently have a contested on one objective. Yep. The other two objectives are fine. Relatively free. Yeah. I mean. um, so right on to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so you didn't hit that, so it's not got the reduced... Uh, Annoyingly no, she yeah. missed. Okay, so I am going to move my horror into the wood line. <laughs> he's just running away. He's running, he's running towards the fire, I don't know about your leader. <laughs> so he's going to run into there. Uh, we'll get rid of all the trees so you can see on camera. Mm -hmm. I'm really nice about that. And... My... What's going to happen is... My spectre's going to move. And then they're going to... Move six just through... March through oh no, wait. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my scarecrows and then my spectres can move. So we'll, uh, that'll be fine. I've already pivoted. Um, <laughs> yeah. So they're going to move... I'm gonna move on to the objective and pivot. Confident. I can't. I can. <laughs> no. So wild charge. I was looking at. Yeah. Uh, gets added onto your charge. Obviously, I haven't charged. Mm -hmm. So they're just they're just chilling. They're chilling. They're, they're chilling. Okay. And then uh, what I was gonna do with these spectres now that they've moved, uh, they're just gonna go there. Okay. Onto the tree line. Have a little peek. Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> uh, range phase. Yep. So... You're going to try and hit the uh, dug-in hunter? Yeah, I mean, I have moved and you're in cover, so I'm on a negative two by the looks of so it. you're hitting on like sevens. <laughs> uh, so I'll be hitting on sixes. <laughs> She's also stealthy. You're also an individual. <laughs> yeah. So eight? Did it go eights? anyway? You know what? <laughs> I'm guessing you can't go any higher than sixes. Right? Yeah. Sixes are always a hit, one's always a miss. Uh, that's why even if you have a load of crushing strength, yeah. it never makes it once, yeah. um, which is terrible. It's the only reason I have butchers. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, eight dice. You know what? It, it might happen. Well, you can get sixes. Yeah. You can, you can sixes, sixes are indeed possible. Yeah. Not for me. I heard for other people there. I heard this one guy rolled two sixes. <laughs> that was none. Absolutely none. <laughs> Uh, and I am going to cast Bane Chan again on those butchers. Uh, yeah, they have Bane Chan. They're going to get stuck in there. Yeah. Um, so, all my range is done. Mm-hmm. Melee. You will be missed over there. <laughs> <laughs> Melee, so butchers, they finally get to smack something. So, they have nine attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, the horror is giving an aura of vicious, so I get to reroll ones. Um, four, four, and one more. There we go. Um, so I'm hitting on four plus. Mm -hmm. uh, There's a few hits there. Yeah, you, you know, got one as well. Got two ones there. Uh, um, so the, I only missed one technically. So I'm going to have to take those. It is all ones, I'm just checking. Whenever this unit rolls the damage, that's the damage. It's damage. Okay. Good job I looked. Good no, job I looked. I guess that would be a good one, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, uh, but I did hit six times. Okay. And it's just uh, against my clansman, right? So yeah. You're only, you're, it's five pluses. You've got crushing strength. You've three. No piercing or anything, right? I've got crushing strength three. So, while well, they're hitting on you. Plus N, uh, three. So plus. So you got two pluses then. Uh, so hitting on threes, yeah. Uh, Twos. Oh, twos. I've got defense of five, you've got crushing strength three. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, so twos, yeah. Yeah, so that's five. <laughs> I can math. That's five, I got a one. Do I have five apples? There we go. <laughs> and that is six wounds. Six wounds, okay. Um, and six apples. <laughs> if Jason has 12 watermelons, oh. and he, why has Jason got so many watermelons? So I'm rolling out for my nerve. Yeah, this could be bad. This could be terrible. Well, I need to roll a <laughs> nine or less. Nine or less. 
Six. Oh my Same god. Same roll that I got last time. Six, <laughs> that was and a five. six and a five. Oh no. Yeah. So they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. They are. Oh no. That was just unlucky. That was absolutely yeah. That, that was, was that was pure on. It's <laughs> just how the dice rolls go. I don't think you did anything bad. <laughs> you could have done three damage and they'd have gone. <laughs> With that. Oh man. Because, yeah. <laughs> I, feel, I feel for you. <laughs> so, Let's they are. They're going to move uh, the 90 degree. So which flank are you going to give me? I'm going to give you that That's taste. The, uh, My thought is that you've, you've got to work your way around, yeah, so wiggle, hopefully wiggle. I'm fine. Um, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. Wiggle. So that's me all done. It is. Now it's my go. Ooh, yeah, but these these trolls. I've seen some. I've seen these snow trolls do some horrendous things. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping that they'd be a bit more of an anvil and hold you up. It's very unlike them to just go out on the first hit. Yeah, uh, even with a good hit, you know. Um, Man, so, butchers are terrifying. <laughs> well, yeah, they they did their job. They butchered. <laughs> they did butchered. Uh, so I've just got my snow trolls. They've got speed of six. They can do a charge of twelve if they want to, um, but it's not going to get them close enough. It's going to get them into a pretty aggressive position, though. Yeah. So we're going to pivot. I need to put these guys on a tray. Uh, Movement tray is now available from Mantic Games. I mean, what? Your pivot will get you to face <laughs> that way, won't it? Yeah. So you would actually get within. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? We are... We don't have much choice. You're baiting us out now. Yeah, I've kind of got a nice mm -hmm. bit of control. We do. What's your move on these chaps? Uh, six. Six. So decent for this left table. Yeah, it's the same as me. So yeah. it's a double or a double. Um, Ooh, it's know. just a, it's an awkward distance, isn't it? It is. If, if I move in, you'll, you'll... You're basically 13 inches away and you've got a 12-inch charge, right? <laughs> yeah. And you haven't got wild charge. Uh, wild charge. They do beat. have wild charge one. Ooh, so you've got a one inch. Yeah. Extra, so 13 inch. Put me. Oh. Just shy. <laughs> Just shy of making contact with the side of you. Yeah. Because that would basically run them through this. Yeah, which you couldn't. It has yeah. to be the straight line, sadly. Yeah. That is. Oh, that's unlucky as well. Actually, hang on, let's just check. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's it in there. Just out of it. Just out. Never mind. That's okay. how it goes. Um, which just puts me into position to be charged by you if I move. It's a decision. It is. Okay. How many rounds have we this going on for? I didn't change the round count last time. So what round are we on now? Three. Three, so uh, it goes for, what is that one? It's, it's uh, six, and then you roll to see if there's another one. Okay. Right, let's play the long game. Okay, you've got you've got the rounds to, to work it. You're in no yeah. rush. Hmm. <laughs> they are... In my head, I can hear the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire tune. Yeah. You know what? They're gonna come. They're gonna come to here. Dun, 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 they dun. are gonna go <laughs> to there. Okay. They're gonna get themselves in a position to be charged or shot at. Yep. Not that you can do much about that. Mhm. Mm they can change their position now. This way. Yep. And my hunter is gonna shoot the butchers. Okay. Does she get a flanking shot from there? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Sadly not. <laughs> because all I need is you to have a bad roll. Yeah. Um. So she's got three dice as before. I'm going to give her red dice because red roll higher. <laughs> Unlike last time. She's hitting, what, on a four plus because you're, you're blurry. I'm, yeah, I'm blurry. <laughs> she's got one. one hit this time. Okay. No natural one re-rollings. You got any piercing? I do. Piercing one. So four plus. Is it four plus? Wow. I've got five. Oh, I've got five defense. Come on. Five. There so you go. get hit and you're frozen. And I'm frozen. So you're on four. Not that that reduction... You I was going to say, I'd, oh, I wonder if I can reach if you. If I moved like an inch closer, <laughs> then it would have. Because <laughs> then I'd have been moving inch. I was toying with the, if I move an inch, then I freeze you. <laughs> then I can charge you if you don't move at all. But you're going to move anywhere regardless following that. Um, That's it. That's it for me. So okay, so I'm going to roll my nerve. Because so this could... Double sixes, please. 
Double sixes. Uh, that's a four, Double so keys. eight. I'm absolutely fine, <laughs> sadly. Uh, okay. Round counter goes round. So we are on. Four. Four. And four. Okay. Decisions. Okay. Pivot and charge. Yep. Because I don't want to get plucked away at by your dude. Um, pivot and move. Let's just make sure that we know that that's got that. Yep. The scarecrows are going to also move forward. You're making a nice line for me to march through. Yep. Mash, mash, mash. Got my hero as a buffer, which is probably isn't the best <laughs> idea. But. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. You're going to pelt me with more misses. <laughs> Bane Chan doesn't get Bane Chan. Good. I'm uh, going to pelt you with more misses. <laughs> so. Do the rolling cup. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think it makes it. <laughs> so far, it hasn't. <laughs> The cup knows you're not playing Dreadball, so... You think that's what it's doing? Yeah. Well, sure. So, I, yeah, I guess I'm hitting on sixes because you're individual and in cover. Yeah. Um, Does Dreadball use D8s? Maybe that's... I'm using the wrong size dice, maybe? I couldn't tell the top of my head. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen Rob absolutely slaughter someone. You got a six? I don't have six. I got three sixes. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Defense of four plus. Piercing. Four. So threes. threes. Ooh. So that is two. Two hits. Do you want to do the honours if you are you fair? Ooh. I can just about reach. Alright, nerve. Thirteen. This could go. Come on, Dread Walk Up. Terry Bler. One and a four. <laughs> I was gonna try to hide them Six, and I was seven. gonna do the reveal. So seven, does that doesn't hit your uh, wavering, right? No, that puts her on ten okay. out of thirteen. Alright. Great. <laughs> so butchers are gonna smack your trolls. This is gonna be how many? They got three. Is it? Yes, they yeah. left it behind there. Oh, did I didn't regenerate them? Can I? Sorry. You know what? You can. Yeah. Unless it makes. A they didn't get any anyway. All right. <laughs> I'm so, pretty sure I missed like two regeneration rounds, but whatever. Four, four, nine. So butchers have nine attacks. Come on. Feeling good. <laughs> So, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Yes, yeah, so those are five plus. Seven hits. Well. Yeah, and so what's your defense? Five plus. Five, so crushing strength two, so they're on threes. Three plus. Yeah, and I've got, they're in range of my aura vicious. Mm -hmm. So, That's a lot. <laughs> but once or it was it threes. Three plus, yeah. I hit everything apart from that one, though. So seven hits. Seven hits. Let's Jeez. make it one more. So they're on ten. That is another one. <laughs> I don't think I can roll So this. seven. Seven. Woo. They're on eleven. So they've already got the five and the six on them this time. So I don't need to roll the five and the six this time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe that's how we get around it. <laughs> um, they're fifteen. So I've got to roll four or less. No. Yeah. Three or less? I need a two and a one. Maths is hard. Snake Eyes is what kills me, doesn't it? So, we'll have a look. Um, so, da 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 da. Oh man. There's literally only one combination. So, <laughs> double sixes would be our doomed. Double one is hold your ground. Okay. So, if you get. Double so, one, or a one and a two. You need oh. a double six. Is like the. Oh no, double six. No, double I'm, one I need. No, I really want you to get a double six. <laughs> I need a double one. Double one snake eyes to. So basically, hold you there are four rolls I can get that can win. One okay. and a one, and a one and a one and one, that doesn't really count. But a two and a one, and a one and a two also count because they're both dice. <laughs> so I'm giving myself three possible dice roll combinations. Ready? Uh, four, oh, five. Four. Oh no. <laughs> they're dead. They're dead. Goodbye. Wow, you just mashed everything. So, I am gonna. Um, so, when you killed something, we already discussed the pivot, but mm -hmm. uh, the other thing you can do is move uh, d6 in a straight line. Is that what you're gonna do? Uh, I am. Uh, so, one. Nice little one inch. A one inch. Move. Oh, a little one inch. You know what? Kind of wish you'd rolled higher that time. What are you trying to do? Oh, I don't know. I'm terraforming oh, a bit. God, pulling my cover away. Boop. <laughs> Looks like we're just like it. That has given me line of sight on your hero, though. I was hoping, that's what I was hoping you'd go a bit further. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine, mate. Yeah. You do you. 
my go, right? Your go. I'm literally just going to shoot at you. <laughs> so it's looking a bit leery. Yeah. Three die. Uh, uh, that's my movement phase done. <laughs> <laughs> she can stay there. It's for at least personal now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to kite your entire army across the board. Like I'm Don't gonna... I have to do some kind of break test after losing this many units? Or... Uh, no. <laughs> no, I just get to keep going. Okay. Yeah, you keep going. All right, okay, so three dice. I'm hitting on, if I remember correctly, at least I need one page in my rule book now. Um, it's three plus normally, four pluses, okay? Yeah. Two hits. Two it's hits. About time. Watch me just get the good roll. Was this on the horror? This is on a horror piercing one. So twos. Twos and above. Double one. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. What? Wait, I'm really sorry that you, that you came <laughs> this all this a, way. It's one of these games where you just generally, you enjoy it less because of how badly I'm like, oh. It's like any time I play someone at tennis, it's not yeah. fun for the other person because I'm, I just, <laughs> really? I just slug it across the <laughs> entire court. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> where were you a, two rolls ago? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> well, that's my turn again. We're on turn five. At least you can't reach me yet. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I'm still recovering from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 90 degree and then move six. You're just going get to the, get the objectives. Uh, I am, because I've, I've done this with Elvis where I've just gone bloodthirsty right and then actually realized that i haven't got any points <laughs> so they're gonna move all the way to that all the way to that I mean, and then shooting. <laughs> is it now to go in the end yeah yeah, uh, yeah. can so they charge her there because uh, no. of, of the angle of the wall yeah <laughs> so she's I mean, good for another turn yeah <laughs> they've just got to sit there and hope they like uh, um shooting phase and he's just gonna pivot um Yep, what I am... Yeah, you, haven't you got like lightning bolts and stuff? No, I took off all the spells. I have, just for buffs. And that, even though I just looked to see if I had fog, <laughs> I was like, please, then let it be a purchase. It is. So, um, he's just going to chill. Okay. Yeah. So, movement, that's my movement phase done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to shoot at your butchers, since they've actually taken some damage. Come on! <laughs> so, once again, four pluses. If the butchers live, I'm getting some. Okay, so two hits again. Ooh. Nice. And what are they getting hit on with piercing? Is it two pluses? Uh, so, butchers are... Four. Three plus or four plus. So, four plus. Come on. Five. One hit. One hit. That would have hit your other dude, though. I needed that roll previously. So, they're on... Five. Five. Great. So now, two sixes would be nice. <laughs> so I got, it was my turn to get a six and a five. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! I think that's them gone. It is them gone by one. Pew. They have a 15. <laughs> right. Come you know on. what, Butchers? You did Come great. On, Hunter. You can do this. Now All she's right. just dug in behind here. And she's just going to pick you off your entire army. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, is that you? That is my turn done. Okay, so final final round? Yeah. We're on round six. I think we're on round six. Okay. I'm going to pivot. Um, what I am going to do is um, I'm going to pivot my uh, horror. And he's literally just going to leg it into the woods. <laughs> 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 And uh, that was yeah. the, wasn't quite an at the double. That was just a slink off into the trees, yeah. like a creepy old dude. I've done my job. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big fan of the butchers. He doesn't like to see them go. Uh, and uh, I ain't gonna waste your time. Obviously, uh, that's that's me done for the entirety of my uh, yeah, round. This, this is round six, isn't it? Yeah. This is round six. Round seven is the one we roll for. Yeah, yeah. it's a little dice marker. On there. Yeah. Um. Right. Well, let's see if we can take out an entire unit of scarecrows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With three arrows. If you do this. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be hit. nothing but impressed. Four plus? Uh, on my scarecrows. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, what's your, it's your range and then my armor. Just three. So yeah, three. Oh, uh, yeah, four plus because I'm stealthy. My bad. Uh, one hit, at least. <sighs> okay. And, and then you've got piercing. I'm piercing. Guessing. So twos. 
thought it was a one. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Come on, double sex, you know, you're going for it, right? Double, double one. one. <laughs> Rich, I'm dead, so... Well, they land on the opposite side, we'd have been fine. Yeah, under the table, on the... Let's see. We, yeah, we should start rolling on a glass. Yeah. Camera and then pick. you can pick. <laughs> oh, buddy. So now we roll till we enter round seven. If you want it. Of I do. Go, right. Is it on a four plus? Four plus, so you... I'm not sure who's best to roll for this right now. I don't know, God. <laughs> I feel like my butcher's the only one that we're rolling fine. Yeah. So here, here we go. Right. Oh. <laughs> one. <laughs> so that, that is that. That is, that. that is done. Casualties okay. on both sides. So <laughs> just to tot it up, um, I've, I have two units on it. I'm just going to go to the uh, scenario bit so I can have a look. Um, and um, so we're doing loot. So it's one victory point for each loot counter you hold. I hold two. So yeah. It is a, a, t a 2 nil. So Night Stalkers take this victory. Quite but, convincingly. But <laughs> I had, there were some extremely unlucky rolls on your end. There were. Like, there's, no, I mean, there's no doubt about it. Like, there, was no, there was no like, oh, undeniable tactic. Yeah. It was very... Because I know you wanted to hold me up. Yeah. So... I was banking on the fact that I could get rid of you. They could have done a better job with the Snow Foxes. I could have moved my snow foxes into a slightly better position. I could have played a bit more of a long game and moved them more tactically. I yeah. didn't expect them to go out that quick. No. But, you know, again, it comes down to roll of the dice. Flanks are in. The big one was the clansmen. The clansmen getting hammered so quickly. <sighs> yeah. Swat, swung the whole. Because had they survived, you'd have had my snow trolls in your flanks the whole I was the game. petrified of yeah. the snow trolls the entire <laughs> game because I was so caught up here. And obviously, I only had my specters there, which were there to. Yeah. A to just to get a bit of wounding, which isn't too useful on those because of that region. Yeah, so I'm having to keep marching at you. Yeah. So even if I wound you, you might just come back in. As soon as you get into the center of the board, you're fresh as a daisy. And I was yeah. absolutely <laughs> petrified of that. Uh, I mean, butchers. I think if I'd, if I'd have lost the butchers, yeah, it would have been game over. And I had a few very unlucky rolls with the arrows. Completely oh, missing yeah. several times. Yeah. Which is for for one individual unit to just have a complete whiff of all their shots. Yeah, it's that's them useless that round really. Mm. So the master hunter is really good, very nimble, very fast, good at applying those debuffs. But as a sole hero for the the group, yeah, I think then you need something which is either tougher can get stuck in, yeah, or something which has the spells. Yeah, so I think that's where my downfall was just unlucky with the the pack, uh, the the pack hunt, not the pack hunts, the clansmen. Yeah. And maybe not being as lucky as I could be. I think I used her well. Yeah. I think I positioned her well. Oh, 100%. Right especially place. when you got Bunkin in here, because I completely had my horror out of position. Mm. And I was worried, I think if there was more shots and he was killed, obviously I didn't get Bane Chant on that last one, yeah. which was luck as well. I think round one, my mistake was moving my Ice Skin Hunter back when I should have hugged her into the wall mm. and had a clear line of sight on your horror. Yeah. Because he was straight through that gap with yeah. the butchers in front. I should have put the pressure on him straight away. That'd have made me take a turn going through there to get around yeah. there. But then there was all this mess happening here, which would have been another issue yes, for me. Because I would have had that pressure there, yeah. allowing my trolls to sweep through. So mm. th at the very start, I made that sort of tactical error yeah. of pulling back without really thinking this was cover. Yeah. You know? Um, after that, it was all unluck unlucky. Maybe I exposed myself a bit too much. I thought putting the the clansmen in there would have been enough to tie you up for a, a round mm. or more, but it just didn't. Um, I think anything getting hit on the flank is going to have a hard time living. Yeah. The snow fox is especially... Because what, what's their defense again? Two. Two, <laughs> yeah. So, um, that, that... Yeah, I think... I think Especially when you got a lower amount of units for for people that are just playing a small game or, or using the box, um, yeah, you got to watch those flanks because yeah. it matters even more. Because if you lose a unit, you you, screwed, yeah. you get so much more maneuverability. Like I obviously had the opportunity just to run my butchers out at you. I think with the clansmen as well. See, I gave them the cr the extra crushing strength, mm -hmm. which was good. Yeah, but. Then they're not as survivable as they could have been. Yeah. It, although it was a terrible roll, um, 
perhaps giving them an item which increases their dis their, their defense that gives them that more staying power. Yeah. Because I've got a team which can't really throw out heals and can't really throw out buffs. So... There's a really good item. Is it Aegis? Aegis? How do you, how do you say that? Aegis or Aegis? Aegis. Aegis. Um, so you gain Iron Resolve, and so any time that you pass your Nerve check, you heal. Oh, wow. uh, which I used to run on uh, Earth Elementals, which, like the Butchers, are, are fearless, so they don't have a Wavering stat. That's really good. So they're more likely to pass it and, yeah, and sort of keep in the fight. Brewer Strength is an expensive item. It's 30. I mean, oof. Um, to give them that extra crushing strength. So I, was, I was really hoping I was going to get them into your spectres, yeah. but you held back. So my plan had to change, especially with the, the puppers getting, getting <laughs> smeared. Yeah, I think, I think the puppers were a crucial thing. I think these need to be played quite differently. I need to get my other regiment of them. Yeah. They need to be played less rushy. Less I mean, pressure. They need to take their time going around the table. Played more like a, like a cavalry. Like, like to, a cavalry yeah. unit. Like a pack of hunting yeah, foxes. <laughs> you know, corral. They're, uh... They could be used the flanks with them because they can yeah. get around so easy. Yeah, and I mean, in terms of hits, if they get into a fight, they've got ten attacks. Oh, see, so, I mean, so... twenty even just on a side flank is yeah, is nice. They, they're hitting on a five plus, but yeah, that, that's a lot, you know, of rolls. Yeah, and they're fast. Mm. Well, that was the idea with this game, wasn't it? See what yeah. works. See what see what you look. At. I mean, butchers. See what you learn. Yeah, butchers. I love. They're hard to hit. Your whole team are hard to hit. Yeah. Um, but the, the harder part is the second roll to, to actually cause the damage. Butchers mm. are hard to damage. Yeah. The rest of your team are easy to damage. Yeah. They, you know, two plus. She, she. Yeah. So she being given more shots or more chances to re-roll would be good next time. Yeah. These guys giving more staying power would be good next time. Um, I would keep the Burt Blader slashing on those guys mm. to re-roll some of their misses because... You want every chance you yeah. can to deal damage with them. If they're in combat with somebody, they need to mm. be able to get those hits. Um, I think going yeah. forward, scarecrows, I'd probably, I'd probably have a, a two to one ratio of butchers to scarecrows. Scarecrows to get stuff down, but butchers yeah. are, are, the, are the meat, really. Yeah. They're yeah, the stuff that I want to do damage. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm never really relying on scarecrows to live. Yeah. Because they're on a three defense, I think, off the top yeah, of my they head. They didn't do a huge amount, but they were very useful in that game. They yeah. They were used correctly. Uh, and obviously, they're really slow. And if you want to use wild charge, it's based on a dice roll for these rather than just it being a number. So yeah. it's kind of, I can't predict if I can get a charge off successfully because if, if I roll and it's less than I want, I'm just stood out in the open whiffing it. Well, uh, can you roll less than a one on the dice roll for that? Uh, well, Cause it's, it's, no. Because yeah, okay. <laughs> it's just the so D6. You've, so. you've always got like wild charge at least one then. Yeah, so, uh, well not a D6. Um, let me look at the top D3, one. It's yeah. a bit of a gamble either way. Yeah. Um, yeah, D three. So, um, if if I get less than I actually want, then it's 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 another gamble that I don't want to take. Um, but yeah, good game. Yeah. So you raided <laughs> my winter cashew supply. Yep. Um, so we're, we're now we're now ready for the next the next fight. We're gonna we're gonna use these cashew supplies to uh, build up our forces. Feed your vanguard force. Yeah. Who are now gonna? They've got the lust for nut. <laughs> Uh, they're now going to go on the next expedition where they're going to encounter what my a bigger force. Well, we're sort of my, they're going to encounter my recreational team who are out playing basketball <laughs> in the snow. Like, hey guys, did you hear hear something? Like, no. no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed that. And um, if you want to see more, obviously give it a like, subscribe to uh, to both Mantic Games and Goblin. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, let us know what, what what you're picking up, what you're painting. If you're uh, if you're grabbing the box, if you're getting the almighty night stalkers. How you'd have built that? How you'd have played it differently? Yeah. If you have any tips for us, obviously yeah. we're we're not. I mean, we're top tier. Don't get us wrong. Oh god, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just we're basically back. professional, but yeah, we, it's for educational purposes right now. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, let's pretend that we're awful. And uh, what tips yeah. would you have given us? Yeah, if, if, <laughs> if we weren't as good as we were, how could we get better? Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> keep it posted because uh, we're going to have more videos Kings of War uh, obviously the Escalation series that we're doing currently mm -hmm. and, um, and yeah we'll see you next time toodaloo